How can someone who has never read Islamic texts justify criticizing Islam? If you think magic is not, is not real, okay? If you think like there is, you don't need to be an expert in Islam. You have, you don't need to have read any Islamic text to be able to criticize Islam. Do you think magic is real? No. Okay, you are well equipped to be able to criticize Islam. That's all you need. Okay, you have the license. Do you think like people could cut the moon in half? No? Okay. You don't need to read any more Islamic texts. If you think somebody cannot cut the moon in half with their sword, you're well equipped to criticize Islam, okay? Do you think um, Prophet Yunus, or I think in English, Jonah, Jonah, right? Was swallowed by a fish and stayed there for a period of time? No? There, there you go. You don't need to be a scholar in Islamic studies to be like, yeah, I think Islam is bullcrap. You don't need to be an expert. If you think that cannot happen, then you are, you have enough knowledge already to be able to criticize Islam. Okay? I'm not dismissing the value of Islamic scholarship. By the way, real Islamic scholarship, not anything like, not like the, you know, when I'm saying Islamic scholarship, I'm talking about actual academia, not the people who are experts in magic and wizardry and prayers and like crap like that, right? Not Islamic scholarship the way Muslim scholars understand what Islamic scholarship. I'm talking about actual academia when they actually, people, Either who are either not religious, or not lit, or people who are not letting their religions influence their opinions, studying Islamic texts and history in like an academic way. There's a lot of value in that. I'm not dismissing that. I'm just saying like, and that that is needed. Okay, and you're gonna have a lot of knowledge about the history of Islam and Islamic texts that, you know, is priceless, and you could get a lot of conclusions from that that most of us can't. Okay. But you don't need that just to be able to understand that Islam is bullcrap, okay? Well, I mean, Islam, Islamic claims are bullcrap, right? Like, obviously, Islam as a fact in history and its influence on society and as an influence on literature, and that is, in, that is not bullcrap. That's interesting. That's valuable to learn, okay? But the claims that Islam makes, I mean, do you need to be an expert in Harry Potter lore to be able to understand magic is not real right like do you do you have if i do you have to have read the, all the books and become an expert of every single harry potter book to be able to make the clam and claim that not not the clam but the claim that wizardry and like you know wands probably can't do magic no you don't need that okay however am i saying is that there's no value in reading harry potter no there is value there's there's a lot of value in reading harry potter i mean i think so but you don't need that to be able to make that claim. Hey guys, if you want to join these streams live, get your comments and questions read by Ali and Armin and the guests, and most importantly, to get full access to the full video versions of all these episodes, become a patron. Link in the description below.